What's going on guys? My name is Dixon and welcome to The Dapper Bowl. If you're new to this channel, we do men's fashion, grooming, and lifestyle content, and learning how to dress your best life. So consider subscribing. All right, so I was heading out one day and I slapped on a pair of chino shorts from my wardrobe and I never realized how oversized my shorts were. I mean, at this point, if I don't wear a belt, my shorts are literally gonna fall off. It's a very uncomfortable and annoying experience. So I decided to get a new pair of chino shorts and instead of going to my staple go-to brand, which is Uniqlo, why not try out different brands? Which which is exactly what I did. I went out the entire day and I bought six different pairs of chino shorts from brands such as Cotton On, Uniqlo, H&M and Burton's Menswear London. All these chino shorts are under 100 ringgit or for you viewers in the US $35 so watch till the end to find out which brand makes the best chino shorts. Let's go! Alright so for today's review I'm going to score these chino shorts based off three things. Fit, quality and price. Each of them is going to get a score out of 5 and at the end, I'm going to total it up out of 5. By the way, if you guys haven't seen my last video on how shorts should properly fit, do check it out so you have a better understanding on how these shorts should properly fit. Here's a pause screen if you want to know my lower body measurements. Starting with number 1, in no particular order, we have the slim fit chino shorts from H&M in beige. The shell of these shorts are made out of 100% cotton which is the outer layer of the shorts while the pocket lining is made out of 65% polyester and 35% cotton. I bought these shirts for $54.95 ringgit or $19.90 in the US and I bought mine in a size 29. A very standard pair of chino shorts, belt loops, four pockets, two on the sides, two at the back with both back pockets with buttons to close them and a very standard button closure. Right off the bat, it looks really good. You can see that the length of these shorts is perfect which is around 2 inches above my kneecaps uncuffed. The width on the other hand is a little wide which isn't the most flattering but it's still acceptable in my opinion. Nothing much to say about the waist but how perfect it is. However, fit around the crotch isn't the greatest. There seems to be excess fabric around the area which is causing it to crumple all over. And for the seat, visually it looks perfect but I'm feeling a little bit of pulling around the area. So for fit, I'm gonna give it 4 stars out of 5. Alright, so for quality, I'm very very surprised how comfortable these shorts feel. The zipper on the other hand is really good as well. There's no friction whatsoever when I'm zipping it up and down. The only downside is the stitching quality. If you look closely, you can see dangling threads all over and the stitching is slightly inconsistent but this is expected for the price you're paying. Alright, so for quality, I'm going to give it a 4 stars out of 5. Alright, so for the price of 54.95 ringgit, you're really getting an above average fit and quality pair of Gina shorts. So I'm going to give it 4 stars out of 5 for price, which gives it a total score of 4 stars out of 5. Pretty good start. Moving on, we have the wash chino shorts from Cotton On in Pigment Stone. Hold up. Yeah, I'm not too sure how they came up with this colorway, but it seems to be some sort of beige. Alright, so it's made out of 99% cotton and 1% elastane, and I got mine in a size 30 for 98 ringgit or $34.99 in the US, making it the most expensive chino shorts you're gonna see in today's review. Alright, pretty standard, button closure, zippers, belt loops, and instead of 4 pockets, it has 5. 2 on the sides, 2 on the back and one strange little small pocket right here. I'm honestly not too sure what's the use of this fifth pocket right here, or is it just a visual thing? So let me know down in the comments what you think this pocket is used for. All right, so what I realized about the back two pockets is there's no buttons to close them. So do keep that in mind if you're the type that put things in your back pocket. All right, right off the bat, there's definitely more weight to these shorts. And I'm not too sure if you guys can see through the camera, but the fabric looks like it has a rough texture on it. But surprisingly, it's very very soft and stretcher than I thought it would be because there's only 1% elastin in the blend. The length of these shorts uncuffed is literally right above my kneecaps and if you've seen my last video, you know that's a bare minimum. And you can see the width of the shorts is slightly flared out which isn't ideal. Alright, so for the waist, it's just ever so slightly on the larger side. Unfortunately for me, I couldn't fit anything smaller than your 30s and because of this, you can see the X formation around the crotch because of the fabric sagging down. Alright, so for the seat, it's slightly on the tighter side. You can see that these shorts don't really follow the curvature of my backside and there's a little bit of wrinkling around the area. So for fit, I'm gonna give it a 2.5 stars out of 5. Alright, so in terms of comfort, I gotta be honest. It's really bad. I'm not too sure what it is but there seems to be some friction when I'm walking around in these shorts 
And honestly, I'm pretty surprised because these shorts are pretty soft to the touch. The zipper quality is below average as well. There's a lot of friction going on here. And same goes to the stitching quality. Disappointed to say the least. Two stars out of five. Not hating on cotton on at all, but we're paying 89 ringgit for this pair of shorts. There needs to be some form of quality, right? One star for price. Giving it a total score of two stars out of five. Why does this sound familiar? Next up, we have the Stretch Slim Fit Shorts from Uniqlo in beige. It's made out of 89% cotton and 2% spandex, which is pretty much another word for elastin. I'm wearing a size S and it's priced at $79.90 ringgit or $29.90 in the US. It has a standard zipper, belt loops, four pockets, two on the sides, two on the back, with both back pockets having a button to close them. One difference is instead of the button closure, it has a bar and hook construction and there's also an additional jigger button to help keep the waist up better. Pretty good touch, Uniqlo. First impressions, it's very comfy and it's very lightweight. The length is perfect, you can see that there's only 2 inches above my kneecaps. The width, perfect as well, you can see there's a gentle taper down my knees. As for the waist, it fits really nice as well. You can always remove the jigger button if you think it's a bit too tight for you. The crotch fit on this one is definitely the best, you can see that there's very minimal wrinkling around the area. And for the seat, you can see that it hugs amazing. A solid 5 stars out of 5 for fit. In terms of quality, there's really nothing else I can ask for for this price point. It has a very premium soft touch to it and one thing I realized is these shorts are not as stretchy as compared to other brands despite it having 2% spandex in the blend, which isn't much of a deal breaker. Zipper quality, superb to say the least, and stitching quality, full marks. I'm not sure how Uniqlo does it but they hide all the stitchings and threads which gives it a very clean look. 5 stars for quality. Uniqlo has only provided the best stuff for us and for such an amazing quality shorts for 79 ringgit or $29.90 in the US, I think it's safe to say that they deserve 5 stars for price, giving it a total score of 5 stars. Let's see if the remaining brands can match up. Next up, we have the casual chino shorts from Burton's Menswear London in the stone colorway. It's made out of 97% cotton and 3% elastane, and I got mine in size 30. It's priced at 59.90 ringgit, which is roughly around 15 dollars in the US. Its original price is 119 ringgit, which is roughly around 30 dollars, and it's on sale in stores and online while stocks last which is why I added this pair of shorts in today's video. Just like the previous shorts, these Burtons have a standard zipper, belt loops, and instead of four pockets, they have three. Two on the sides, one on the back. First impressions, they feel very premium. Visually, it might look a little tight, but surprisingly, it's very, very comfortable despite its thickness. The length of these shorts are perfect, just like the ones from Uniqlo, two inches above my kneecaps. The waist is perfect, and the tapering in these shorts is a perfect example of how it should look. The only downside is their crotch. There's a little bit of tightness there and because of that, you can see some wrinkles, so minus points there. So for fit, I'm going to give it a 4.5 stars out of 5. For the quality, it's incredibly comfortable and stretchy. I can even do a squat, no problem. Love myself a pair of shorts with a little bit of spandex in the blend. The zipper quality is top notch as well, there's no signs of friction whatsoever. The stitching quality looks top notch as well. There seems to be an additional piece of fabric reinforced around the waist, giving it a pretty premium look to it. Not bad at all. A solid 4.5 stars for quality. So for the price, I'm going to base it off the discounted price of 59.90 ringgit. And for an almost near perfect fit and quality pair of chino shorts, I'm going to give it 5 stars for price, which gives it a total score of 4.5 stars out of 5. Well done. Alright, so the second last chino shorts we're going to review is yet again from H&M. The previous slim fit chino shorts from H&M had a 4.5 star rating, so let's see how well this does. This is H&M's twill slim fit shorts in beige. It's made out of 98% cotton and 2% elastane, and I'm wearing a size 3130. And it's priced at 74.95 ringgit or 24.99 in the US. Zippers, belt loops, and a button closure, and four pockets, two on the sides and two at the back. And just like those shorts from Cotton On, the two back pockets does not have any button closures, so be cautious. The first thing I notice about these shorts is it has a relatively rougher touch to it compared to the other shorts. The length of these shorts are at a bare minimum, half inch above my kneecaps, which is slightly on the longer side and I would prefer it to be shorter, but you can always cuff them. For the waist, it looks pretty perfect from the front view, but 
I noticed there's a big gap at the back, probably due to all that squat I used to do, but overall it fits pretty alright. For the width, you can see that there's a nice taper down my knees, and for the crotch, you can see minimal wrinkling, but that's pretty normal now compared to the rest of the shorts, but it's still not perfect. The fit around the seat is slightly on the tighter side, which is probably why there's a gap around the waist. So overall, I'm gonna give it a 3.5 stars for fit. For the quality, it's made out of a heavier fabric compared to the first H&M shorts. And even though it has a rough touch to it, it's not noticeable when I'm walking around in them. But it's not as comfortable as the one from Burton's or Uniqlo. Zipper quality is on point, now we know H&M have amazing zipper suppliers. And lastly, we have the stitching quality which is really decent because the stitching quality on the previous H&M shorts was really crappy, but there seems to be some sort of upgrade in this department for these shorts. 4.5 stars for quality. So for the price of 74 95 ringgit, it is expected that we get a decent quality pair of shorts, which is exactly what H&M did with this pair of shorts. But the fit isn't what I'm looking for, so I'm going to give it 3 stars for price, which gives it a total score of 3.5 stars out of 5. Last but not the least, we have the Chino shorts from Uniqlo in navy. Sadly, they don't have one in beige. They offer colors such as red, green, and navy, so I went with navy. It's made out of 100% cotton and I'm wearing a size S. It's priced at $79.90 ringgit or $29.90 in the US, which is the same price as the previous shorts from Uniqlo. A very standard pair of Chino shorts, zippers, belt loops, four pockets, two on the sides, two at the back with both back pockets with buttons to close them. First impressions, the shorts feel very soft which is expected from Uniqlo. The length of these shorts are near perfect, one inch above my kneecaps. The waist is also perfect but the only downside is the width of the shorts as I prefer my shorts to be slightly more tapered down to my knees. The crotch area is very comparable to the Uniqlo slim fits and you can see the seat hugs very nicely. Four and a half stars for fit. So for quality, it's very soft but I can foresee that there might be some pulling if you're wearing it for a prolonged period of time in the heat. And surprisingly, the zipper quality is not as frictionless as I thought it would be but is nowhere as bad as the one from Cotton On. And lastly, the stitching quality is... Yeah, Uniqlo standards, which is supreme. So overall, I'm gonna give it a four and a half stars for quality. Yeah, another great pair of shorts from Uniqlo. So I think they deserve a four and a half stars for value, which gives it a total score of four and a half stars out of five. So there you have it. This is my personal rankings from the best to the worst pair of Chino shorts based off fit, quality, and price. So that's it for today's review. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments which pair of shorts look best and if you're interested, I'll be leaving links in the description below for all the shorts you see in today's video. And if you guys like this video, be sure to smash that like button. It really helps the channel grow. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, stay dapper.